Today is a very special day. What's so special about it? Well, today is my father's birthday. Father, come here. Hi. So how does it feel to be 50 years old? Ah, I don't feel any older today than I was before. It is very good. Um, yeah, so what do you think about me? I think you are a very good guy. Very special guy, very good guy. Yeah. And I'm proud of you. So there's nothing special about being 50 years old? No, not special. But I am getting older and older, you know what I mean? And that, that is a question, but, uh, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. I had my youth, the, the first thought of the life. Then I, then I have lived now the second thought of my life. But now is the third, the th third part of my life beginning today. Okay. So, do you want to say something to the YouTubers? Yeah, have a nice time. It's very good to be 50. Yeah, I think very few of you are 50, isn't it right? I think it's very good to be 50. Okay. Yeah, I don't feel old at all, you know. Okay, thank you, Father. Okay, bye-bye. You're welcome. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Hi YouTube, this is my father and we are going to Boston together next September. So what do you think about it? I think it's very good to go to Boston. But I don't know what we shall do there. Maybe the YouTubers can tell us what we can do in Boston. Maybe for three or four years. Maybe there's a Tivoli or something funny to do. Well, I am going to look up Wiki Travel. I'm sure that site has a lot of useful information. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. Was it my grandfather that suggested us going to Boston or was it you? Uh, I think it was you. Not right? Yes, yeah. that's exactly right. I suggested mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And maybe your grandfather is going with us. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Mm. We don't know. Well, I have went with you before, along with my grandfather, mm -hmm. two times. To which cities? Well, Orlando and NYC. Mm -hmm. Is that New York City? Yep. Mm -hmm. And maybe we can do something in the nature. I think I've heard about the nature around Boston is very good. Hmm. Yep. You know, I'm really excited about it and I am going to educate myself about Boston as much as I can until we decide to get till okay. next September. Okay. And how many days do we have to... How many days do you like us to be Well, Boston? Four days? Two I, days? I really don't want to be more than a week. No. Two or three days. Maybe four days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be very nice. Mm -hmm. But we still don't know yet when we are going to Boston. Well, we will About 20th of September. Yeah, well, we will figure it out later, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, Father, it was nice to have you on the show. Yeah, same to you. Thank you very much. All right. Bye. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Hello Youtubers, it's very late today, but tomorrow on April 22nd, 2009, I will be going to a gym with my father. So are you excited about going to the gym? Sure. Tomorrow? I'm sure. Very, I look forward to it. Okay, can you give me any advice on what I sh can should do in the gym? It's an exercise. It's a cycle first, and then you can exercise the muscles. You know what? I'm just going to ask that guy at the gym. Yeah. 
He's very good. Very good. Okay. The hawk. Are you sure he wants his name to be revealed to the public? Okay, my father said he probably wouldn't mind. He was asking if I, if I should record from the gym. No, I'm not going to oh, okay, do that. Okay, okay. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the video, but unfortunately, taking cameras with me to the gym is not allowed. I'm sorry, guys. I really, really want to show you me doing some exercise, but I can't because... I can't because... Cameras are not allowed in the gym, unfortunately, and I know it's for a good reason. And are you not going to show the YouTuber your dog? Where is your dog? Um, not now, but before you ask about my dog, then I want to say, no, the dog is not my pet. The dog belongs to the family. The only fucking pet I have are my Pokemon. So yeah, thank you for watching and have a great day. By the way, I really look forward to have some exercise in the gym to work. Oh, you want the dog? Here it is. What's the matter? Are you nervous? There is no need to be nervous. I want to remind you guys again, this is not my dog. It belongs to the family. There is a big difference. Again, the only fucking pets I have are my Pokemon. Oh, and here are the fish. They also belong to their family. Okay. I hope I'm not scaring the living shit out of those fishes. Nah. My father said I should turn the light on with them if we're not before doing. Alright, let's fucking do it. Now, where do I, hmm... Okay, my father said, told him to turn us this. Hey, this is my brother. Say hi to YouTube. Hi to YouTube. Alright, so here we are. And... And... This is where we keep our dog, but only when something important is happening. Usually we let her be out of the cage, because I believe in fucking freedom. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Say goodbye to YouTube. Goodbye to YouTube. He is gonna keep you up to date. Telling you which movies are good and which are crap He'd rather shoot than bang shot He is the craziest Pokemon fan you ever heard He is the obsessed Pokemon fan He is the obsessed movie family guy fan His name is Blaze Some of you suggested that me and my father should go to the Red Sox when we get to Boston. What do you think about that idea? Is that a baseball team? Red Sox? I don't know nothing about baseball. I think about soccer and basketball and handball, but nothing about baseball. But if you like to go there, I shall, I shall be with you. Um, okay, so, are we going, do you think my grandfather will like it? I don't think so. So does that mean I'm the only one that's interested in that? Are you interested in baseball? Well, I've never heard about that. Well, 
The reason why I will go to Boston is to see something other than what I already see at home. Remember when we went to uh, Orlando? I went to a uh, basketball game. But you didn't like to come with me. The Orlando Magic, one of the best team in, in America. Well, this time I will be going with you when it's with you to anything. We should stick together in Boston no matter what. I mean, it's a big city and we might get lost before we know it. Yeah, but uh, I, I think we should go to some basketball game. Boston Celtics or something. Well, maybe. Okay, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching and have a great fucking day. Yeah, please, he asked me to give some comments about uh, the Bangkok, Bangkok Dangerous film. It was very good. It was with Nicholas Cates. And he's a very good actor and it was a very good film. And he was there in Bangkok having some uh, murder, murder works. And uh, it was a very good film. I liked it pretty well. Yeah, and it's nothing much to say. I would give it about four four stars of five, if that is okay. It was a very good film. Thank you. Today is my father's birthday. He is now 51 years old. So how are you feeling? I'm very good. I'm very old. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel like old man. Okay, well, so we are going to a play today, isn't that correct? Play? We are going to a theatre, we are going to see some poem. No, can I it? Yeah, I, th I think a play is the right word. Okay. Yeah, we are going to a... We are going to one of the twists. Right. Yeah. Happy birthday, man. You know, I am going to be with my mother in her present to you. Okay, thank you very much. So we can't say I didn't give you anything. You haven't get, get me anything yet. No, but I will no, be I with you. about half past five and I haven't had anything yet. Okay. You know, I'm thirsty now. Can I get Coke? Uh, sure. <laughs> As soon as you have given me a present. Really? No, no, we can have to go. He rolled himself under one of those and shouted in the movie. Okay. You I really look forward to go with you to the theater. I don't thought I would. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to. Do you have Parkinson? Huh? Do you have what? Uh, nothing. nothing. It's fresh to get myself some coke. <sighs> Actually, all I gotta say, people, thank you for watching and have a great day. As you can tell from the title, this is my father here. Yep, this is my father, he's about to f this. Hopefully I'll be. Unfortunately my camera can't zoom any further. And I'm not very close where I could. Father, 
how are you doing? Well, he he is fishing, all right. That's right, he is fishing. Hopefully, he will fish a big one. You know. I'm going to tell you what I think of fishing, but personally I find fishing boring. But my father is doing alright. Go get the big fish, my man. Like you can see, I'm not wearing shoes that are suitable for fishing. I hope my father will feel something fucking big. Okay, I will admit, this video is fucking boring. It's just a video of him walking. And walking. Unfortunately, I can't zoom in any closer. They ensure you who he is fishing. Yep, he is fishing all right. Well, I really would wanna go into the water and just walk towards him. There's a pro down there. You see, I'm not very close to the There is really nothing else to this video. It's just my father's face. You know what? I think it's best if I end the video right here. Thank you for watching and have a great day. And if my father will fish anything, I will record a video with the fish he got. This is a story about the Robin Hood and let me tell you it's a very great story. I really enjoyed this movie. What, what do you think about yeah, this? Yeah, it was very good. It was very, a little different than I thought it was because it was not about the outlaw. <coughs> it, it is about how the story began. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, well... This was a very interesting story and it's great too. Yeah, very good and very great film. And very good actors. Richard Crowe is very good. Yeah, so what do you think of the action scenes? Yeah, very good. It, yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah well, the, this movie was more focused on story than action, but... I don't think so. It was very lot of action too. Yeah, well, this, 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 I have to say that this movie was one of the best stories I've seen. Yeah, very good. Uh, well, may I ask you one question? Yeah. What did you think about the king? The new king? John? Well, I don't want to 
put any spoilers in. Okay. He was a coward. Yeah, well he was he was the king of the movie was greedy like all the kings. Yeah. He was a bad guy, wasn't he? Yeah, well, I highly recommend this movie. It has a great story and very interesting story. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Robin Hood is a fucking great movie and it definitely belongs in my DVD collection. Yeah. Thank you, Father. No, no welcome, welcome. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. That's all I gotta say, people. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, I am here to talk about Parasite of Yeah, I already made a review about it, and you know what, I'm actually not going to talk about Pear from Paris with Love this time, I already said everything I wanted to say in the movie review I made when this movie was in theaters. I am here with my father and he is going to say something, well, let's just have this as the logo instead. So, Father, what do you want to say about this movie? It's very good, yeah. It was a fight movie, very good. John, John Travolta is always good. It was a very good movie. Yeah. Would you agree that the movie is fucking amazing? Amazing, yeah. Very fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you want to say about this movie? Mm, yeah, Don Travolta is, is one of my favorites since in all the old days, you know, Greece and Saturday Night Fever, very good, and he's always good. Well, so, since I don't see many classic movies, I'm not so sure what those movies are. Can you explain to me what those movies are? Greece? Yeah. One of the favorite movies was uh, Med. It is a dancing movie, both of them. Dancing and singing movies. Very good. Well, I'm not really interested in dancing movies. No, okay. <laughs> but John Travolta is very good and he's very good in this movie. Well, is that all you want to say? Yeah, I think so. Well, thank you for sharing your opinion. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. 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 Well, people. That was my father, and that was his opinion on from Paris with Love. Which is still my favorite crime movie of 2010. Well, I will be seeing Salt shortly. I wonder if that movie is going to be great. I don't know about that. Anyway, from Paris with Love is my favorite crime movie of 2010. And I already explained why in another video. This was just a video with my father stating his opinion. So yeah, that's all I gotta say people. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Dances with Wolves is a movie about a guy who decides to be with the wolves in the 1880s. Mm -hmm. What is it? What do you want to say about this movie? It is the best movie I have seen. Very good movie. I've seen it for three or four times and read the book. And it's the best story I have seen from America. But I must admit, the storyline is fucking fantastic. Yeah. But what do you find about the fights in the film? Well, the fights were amazing. Yeah. I think the best Indian fights I have seen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Kevin Costner is the best. It is his best film. Kevin Costner is Dance With Fools, nothing else. <laughs> He's very good in this movie and he made it also. Yeah, well, but what about the characters? What do you think of the characters of the movie? Yeah, very good. Very good. Especially the Indian characters. Uh, I don't remember the name of the main character in Indian territory, the priest, the holy man. It's a very good character. Yeah, well, you know what? I love this movie, and I really do. I would say that this is one of the best movies ever made. <laughs> I agree with you, yeah. 
Well, I don't know. I didn't find this one of the best. Well, yeah, it is one of the best ones. Mm -hmm. It definitely belongs in my DVD collection. I mm -hmm. highly recommend you go check it out. Yeah. You, you can own it. It's yours. From now on. Thank you. You're welcome. So, you, you, you are aware that if you give it to me, it's no longer yours. <laughs> Be aware of that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, so that's all we could say people. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Have a great day. Hey guys, what's up? This is Play the Movie with you yet again. And I am going with my father to Japan. Yes. We are going in May. Yeah. We are going at May 12th, right? Yes, uh, around that, yeah. Maybe uh, May 8th. It depends on the fly prices. Well, I am looking forward to it. Are you? Yeah, yeah. But that is your choice. That you, you, you was the guy who liked to go to Japan and have dreamed about it for many years. Mm -hmm. Well, we made some kind of agreement. If I went to the gym twice a week with my father, we would go. Yeah, in a half year. And in May, you have been in a half year in the gym. Yeah. But uh, that is something we haven't, have, we haven't uh, uh, agreed what we are going to do there. Do you know I think that we're going to do there? Japan. Well, I definitely need to look some things up. Yeah, Disney World maybe? Isn't that in Tokyo? Well, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. well, but we don't know very much about Japan. We have to find out what we have to do for seven days. Yeah. Yeah, we are going for a week and I have several questions. Mm -hmm. First of do the DVDs in Japan have English options? I somehow doubt that they do. Okay. And, I don't know. And is there a Pokemon amusement park in Japan? Yeah. Are you asking the guys who was looking to who is looking to us? Looking Ye at us. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Do you have any questions? No. Do you just have this too? And is there, there is something to do in Japan? Uh, I know about the Disney World, and that is the all the thing I know about. How about some trip into the country? Is it expensive to be there? Is the train expensive and the taxis and so on? Well, actually, come to think of it, I, I there are some other things I don't know. Like for example, how about tour buses? I think mm -hmm. we. I would love to sightseeing buses. Yeah, yeah. sightseeing buses. I yeah. I'd love to. Uh, Make a fucking video in a tour bus. Yeah. yeah. That would be fun. Yeah. And I also would love to go to a museum. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it would be... It is very many museums in Tokyo. Tokyo is one of the biggest city in the world. Is it bigger than NYC? Yeah, I, I think it's... No, I think... Uh, New York is a little bit bigger, but they are very similar. New York, London, and Tokyo. Uh, yeah, I also am wondering about one thing. How about the nature? Is the nature in Japan any different from the nature in Iceland or the United States? Mm -hmm. There are volcano in Japan, like in Iceland, in earthquakes. Yeah, I don't know. We have to look that up. Well, you know what, guys? I don't expect you guys to have all the answers. But if you do know anything about Japan, I would appreciate it if you told me. But one thing for sure, I am going to look up Tokyo and Japan 
on the internet. I am going to Google it and find some useful information. Mm -hmm. But I am worried that I might actually get some fake information that's not the real. Okay. Is that common in, in that world? Hmm. Well, you can't trust everything on the internet. Oh. But hopefully I will be able to find some good information. Mm -hmm. And if you guys have any page that you recommend to me, feel free to leave a personal message with pages that I will read. And I will do my best to read the pages. So yeah, I look forward to going with my father in early May. Mm -hmm. This will be my trip of 2011. Mm -hmm. And I promise you guys one thing. I will bring my camera with me and I will record a lot of fucking videos. It's gonna be an awesome trip. A fucking videos? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's all I gotta say. Well, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Okay, bye bye. Hey guys, what's up? This is Place the Moving with you yet again. And. So, some weeks ago, I made a video asking you guys if I should just. Cancel my trip to Japan and most of you said that I should but my father has something to say about that Do you think we should cancel our trip to Japan? Yeah, not now. I think I don't think so But uh, maybe maybe later It, it uh, depends on the situation in Japan. It's okay to go now. I think Yeah, do you think it's okay to go in May? Yeah, sure. We are going uh, 17th of May We will land in Tokyo on 18th of May. I think it's okay, but something can happen the more. Maybe the power station will the, will 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 deep, will, will uh, do something there. You know, it will be what do you call it? Radio action, you know. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Maybe. But what about the earthquake that happened some weeks ago? I think the situation is okay in Tokyo, but it's not good in the north of Tokyo. We will not go there. Right, so guys, I am I am still planning on going with my father to Japan. I think it's gonna be fucking awesome. But mm -hmm. I am worried that I could get sick or something like that. Or hurt. Why? Because of the elective session? Yeah, because of what happened in Japan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was still earthquake, so it was earthquake this morning. But I don't think so. I think it's okay to go to Japan. Are you sure we are gonna be okay? Yeah, if the situation are, are still the same after one month, then it's now. And it is now. Okay, so guys, I still plan on making that over hour long video from Japan. Hopefully, everything will be okay. I am still very worried. Really? Okay. We are not going if you are very worried. Are you hmm. worried? No. <gasps> if I will, will be if I were worried, I would not go. I think it's fine to go. Oh, but no. I've heard about it's very expensive there. I may be a little bit worried about that, you know. As you spend too much money. Yeah, I'm worried about that, maybe. So you're saying that a pizza could cost over hundred dollars? Yeah, I have seen some sightseeing trip. And that is very expensive to go to a little, little sightseeing. Does it cost over thousand uh, dollars? Cost about five hundred dollars to go go to sightseeing one day, and I think it's very expensive. Yeah, well, well, guys, I think this is it. Hopefully, I will still go to Japan, and hopefully, I will be safe. Thank you all for watching, and you all have a great day. Yeah, have a great day. Hey guys, what's up? This is Place the Movie Film with you yet again. And I just saw the movie The Flag Over Fathers. Now my previous review of that movie sucked. Hence the reason why I removed it. So I decided to remake the movie with my father. So 
Hello, my friend. Hi, hi, hi. We are here to review the movie The Flag of Our Fathers. Mm -hmm. So this movie is basically about some people who fight in a war, American people who fight in a war in Japan and mm -hmm. are trying to put the flag to Japan for some reason. Yeah, it was about war and it was about hero and it was about lies and it was about racism in the United States and the film is very good and uh, the film told us that uh, the hero are they are not hero they didn't make them a hero the people make the, the guys are heroes and tell, tell us a lot about heroes all right let's begin by talking about the idea and the execution you know I really think that it was a great idea to make a movie based on real events and mm -hmm. make it entertaining. Do you th do you think the idea and the execution were great? Yeah, very good, yeah. And it was very interesting to see the movie, the war scene on the movie. It was all taken in Iceland. And the uh, same places that uh, we are working on Sundays. And we saw the Icelandic sands, black sand and the stone and the lava. Yeah, but, but those scenes don't really take place in Iceland, do no, they? No, the war did take place in similar island in the uh, in Pacific Ocean. Yeah, I see. A uh, uh, volcano island with black sand. Now, and Eastwood had the two choices. Either take it there or take it in Iceland. There is uh, in not, places, not many places uh, black sand like like in Iceland and this island where where the original began original okay all right now there is something else that I'd like to point out mm -hmm. oh, uh, no, oh well never mind let's now talk about the dialogue is that I thought the dialogue was Excellent and truly intelligent. What do you think about the yeah, dialogue? I, yeah, I, I agree with you. Yeah. And the movie was great. Now let's talk about the characters. The main character is a soldier who is fighting for his country. Yeah. yeah I think the main character was uh, Indian. Indian guy. Was uh, fight for his country, yeah, and he he did that, and uh, and he was not, and I I remember that one of his officers said, "Damn Indians!" Afterwards, and, and it was very very bad to say, because it it is a war, and this yes, very big racism in in the United States when he came back from uh, from. Uh, from the war. Yeah, all right, but what about the military commander? Do you think he was a good character? Yeah, yeah. It was a very good character, all of them. But the most rememberable character in the film was the Indian. Well, all right. Now, let's talk about the action scenes. Do you think the action scenes were filmed well? Well, yeah. they were all serious and they were supposed to be. and. The movie just used the right amount of gore. Mm -hmm. It was very terrifying. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah. It was. It was similar to Shavit Private Ryan. Very similar to that. Well, all right. Now I'm going to give my overall thoughts on the movie. Overall, I'm going to give this movie two thumbs up. How about you? What's your rating? What is that? Two thumbs. Is it good? Good? Two thumbs. Two thumbs means it's an awesome movie. Yeah, very good movie. Yeah, yeah. I'm so, agreeing. So, now, before we end this, there is one thing I would like to ask. Do you think I should check out that Japanese version yeah. of the movie? We have to see, yeah. Clint Eastwood did another movie, similar, in Japan. And, and took the the matter from a Japanese view and I look forward to see the Japanese movie yeah it's called in Japanese I don't understand Japanese but I think it will have a Icelandic or English subtitle well you know the Japanese movie is called the latter from you over I'm not sure okay mm-hmm
I'm going to just go to look it up soon and check that movie out. Yeah. So is there anything else you would like to say? No, just bye bye. Alright guys, yeah. thank you all for watching and you all have a fantastic day. Okay, bye bye. Hey guys, what's up? This is Place the Move and, and you know what? Today is a very special day. What day is it today and what's so special about it? Well, it's my father's birthday. Yep, it's my father's birthday today. So how are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. So how old are you now? I think I'm 42, isn't it? Yeah, you're 42, correct? Yeah, you know. 42? No, 53, sorry. <laughs> well, congrats, you fucking lasers. Thank you. Should I tell people so to you know. go to your Facebook? Yeah, if they like, yeah. Sure. I haven't done Went to my Facebook today. Well, alright, so did you, did you do anything special today because of the fact that it's your birthday? No, I just have a fun with my kids and uh, I was working all day. Yeah, I went to, uh, to uh, lunch with my sister. Yeah. And I had a good time with my kids when they gave me the presents and some for me. Uh, it was very nice. Yeah, I will give you a present tomorrow. Sorry that I didn't give it today. Ah, that's okay. So, yeah, it's my father's birthday today and it's fucking awesome. Now, I have a note for you guys. I know what I promised that I would. And did you tell them what they gave me? Give me. Oh, go ahead, tell them. Yeah, they gave me some paper. Double uh, the paper. They soon took on it. You know, I can go to the bathroom and make soon to go on the paper. On the toilet paper. Yeah. yeah. It's very funny. All right. Everybody gives it. Yep, I'm not going to tell you what I will give you tomorrow, but it will be something special. Okay. I will either give you today tomorrow or this week. Okay, I look forward to it. Alright. Okay. Well, people, yep, it's my father's birthday today. That's the reason why I didn't make any special vlog today where I took what things that happened to me in the poor world. I think it's more important to record my father since it's his birthday and it's only once a year. Yep, he's 53 years old and oh my god, he's still an awesome guy. Yeah, is there, any, is there anything else you would like to say? No. Oh, nice to you. Okay, thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Yeah, thank you. Thank you guys. So, this is place the move and I have a special announcement to make. On June 12th, I will be going with my father and Snorri to Netherlands. Who is Snorri? Your brother? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what exactly are you going to do there? We are going to Tivoli, and then we are going to amusement park, a roller coaster or something, something like that, and uh, going to a zoo. I'm going sailing on some dam. Well, all right, that is, all sounds very interesting. Now, I will be recording while we are there. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I am going to do this a bit differently from my other trip videos. You know how in the past trip videos I recorded the streets and stuff like that, but I will not be recording the streets this time. Oh no, I will be recording something more interesting. What? Well, I, I want to keep the video shorter than an hour long. Okay. So I will only be recording the most important things while we're there. Mm -hmm. I will definitely be recording and have some roller coaster if I find any. Mm -hmm. But what else am I going to record? Well, I am going to keep it limited and only record the most important things. And if there is anything that you guys would like me to record, please feel free to let me know. Are you mm -hmm. are you excited for this trip? Yeah, very excited. 
a trip is for you and your, for, for your brother because you like uh, amusement parks, like roller coasters or something like that. We are going to it because of that. We are going to Eindhoven, where Effetting is, is a very good amusement park. Alright, I am looking forward to this trip. Unfortunately, Snorri is tired right now, but I needed to tell you this. But don't worry, I will tell you how Snorri feels about this. He is very excited for this trip. And don't worry, he will be part of the video that I make while we're there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the trip is going to be fucking awesome. It's from June 12th till June 17th. Yeah, the, the natural day of Iceland. Yeah, I hope you guys look forward to the trip video. Mm -hmm. I am going to try to make it more interesting than my past trip videos. So look forward to that. Well guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching, have a great day. And of course, I will miss most of you while I'm there.